Now, each month we're bringing some of the wildlife of the Oakland Zoo to you at home and here in studio. Join us this morning. We've got Katie Garchar and Daniel Flynn from the Oakland Zoo and a red-tailed hawk. Yeah. Hello. I know. You're saying hi. So this is Scout. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Tell us about this bird. Yeah. This is Scout. She's a red-tailed hawk. She's one of the uh, native California animals we have here in California. It's also all over North America, but she's one of our special education program animals at the zoo. And you were saying she's a very good red-tailed hawk. And tell me kind of how you she came to the zoo. Yeah, she's a very calm red-tailed hawk. So her story is basically she, uh, she was a wild bird that got injured. Um, she was rehabilitated, but they don't think that she would have been good in the wild because her, uh, we think it was a head injury. Mm. And if she was out in the wild, she probably wouldn't know how to hunt that well. Gosh, so uh, she's gorgeous. She's pretty calm around people. So when you're, when you're educating folks and people are, are looking at this bird at home, uh, what do you want them to know about her? Uh, well, just how well adapted she is to the whole North America. She can fit in pretty much anywhere uh, from the trees to the fields, and she's such a great hunter, too. So you don't want to approach one of these birds in the wild. Um, they're definitely okay to see here because she is a special bird, like we were saying. Mm -hmm. um, but just to respect these birds and respect their job at keeping the mice population down. I know. We were saying, I'm like, how do you know she's a good bird? And you're like, well... Look at her, she's like, mm, if you keep your distance, that yeah. would be a good bird. That's all she needs. <laughs> Katie, how important are these programs just in general for folks when they come to, to visit the zoo to just learn so much about what they see in the wilderness and, and really kind of learn the rules around interacting? Yeah, it's so important, especially for kids and adults, actually, uh, to learn about your local species because these are the animals we come in contact with the most and to understand them and respect them. Do we have issues with nests and baby birds in the springtime and, and people kind of thinking, um, hey, maybe I should rescue this bird, but a lot of these birds are kind of, they're doing just fine on their own? Yeah, you know, it does happen. Naturally, birds will fall to the ground, but usually you should just kind of leave it alone. Um, if there's a safe space, you can move the nest to. Woo! That's probably a good idea. Hello. Yeah. You Hi. Go. You see that amazing <laughs> wingspan right there? Just getting like, a little comfortable. We won't tell you what happened in commercial break. Uh, <laughs> how old did these birds uh, get? Uh, you know, around 20 years, 30 years. Uh, she's around four, we think, but we don't know exactly because she was a wild bird at one point. She's like, I need elbow room. Give me my space. Yeah. I'll move over. She doesn't have to move over. Okay, so let's talk about, we have an event coming up. Yeah, we have a few events coming up, actually. Tonight, we have Celebrating Elephants Gala. So this evening at the zoo, there's going to be a silent auction. There's going to be an amazing guest speaker. And uh, basically, we're raising money for our conservation partner, the Ambicelli Trust in Africa. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, and then we always like to do a green tip. We always like to give something, uh, some information people can use at home to make sure they're green. Definitely. So this month's green tip is save the trees. Trees. No, sorry. Trees. <laughs> Home. Home um, yes, yeah, so trees are super important to Scout, super important to us. Oh, about half of the paper we use get, gets recycled, and that's a huge waste. Mm -hmm. So we would like you guys to consider maybe not using as much paper or using recycled paper or even Ooh, using alternative a paper. Go ahead, take a feel, take a oh, that feels uh, great. touch, take a smell, whatever. Oh, what do you think it's not, made out of? I'll give you a hint. It, we saw it earlier before the... We saw it during commercial break. Scout. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> what is that made okay. of? It's, this is made out of elephant poop. <laughs> this is why they tell me just smell it before <laughs> they tell me what it is. It's you like when they say we're going to let you eat yeah. it, but yes. So save oh, the paper, save the trees. <laughs> <laughs> well, Scout, Daniel, Katie, thanks so much for coming. And how long did it take you to uh, be able to have her hang out with you just like that? Um, took me, you know, she's pretty comfortable around people. It took me a week or two to get used to oh, her to get used so to me. Great. All right. Well, the Oakland Zoo is open daily from 10 in the morning until 4 in the afternoon. Admission 1975 for adults 1575, ages 2 through 14 or 65 through 75. If you are under 2 years old <laughs> or if you're older than 76, you get <laughs> in free. Thanks for coming in. Thanks, Scout.